South Bay College professor has found something that could help solve the mystery of where humans came from. Today, the journal Nature announced the discovery of a fossilized ape skull that could be the common ancestor of all living apes and humans. It was found by Isaiah Ningo, who teaches at Cupertino's De Anza College. And guess who's here with me now? Uh, right off a plane from Africa, what, yesterday, I guess? Yes. Now, you discovered this, and this is the model, by the way. This isn't the real McCoy, but uh, you discovered this, what, three years ago, right? We discovered this in 2014. 2014. Yes. And why are we hearing about it now? Uh, it took about uh, uh, two years to arrange to get it uh, taken to the synchrotron in Grenoble to get it scanned because, you know, as you can see, the, the, the erupted teeth are broken off. We can't identify it without. Tell the us teeth. what it is, too. This is a this is a, a small ape. A this baby? is a, a, a small ape, a new species, uh, belonging to a group that we think is uh, closest to the ancestry of all the living apes. And when it was discovered, it was along a path, and it was someone in your group. And I mean, elation! How excited were you? Uh, uh, it, 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 very difficult to find fossils in this particular locality. The whole day we've been screening, right. found nothing. So at uh, the end of the day, we weren't particularly looking. So when we found this, and when we knew it was an ape, it was, I mean, I'm, I'm still excited. <laughs> and it's been, what, three years now, right? It's been three I look at it every day, and I'm still excited. Oh, my gosh. And initially, you could not even get people to go on this expedition, right? There was right. A, there's nothing there. Yes. And that's because the site was uh, initially discovered and worked on by the famous Leakey family. And the thinking was that mm -hmm. if the Leakeys had been there and there was anything to be found, it would have been found. Yeah. So they, they didn't, people didn't expect us to I, find much there. I heard when you found it, you actually slept with it. You took it everywhere, right? You weren't going to let it out of your sight? Uh, no, I, I, I slept with it. Uh, the day when we found it, we brought it right back to the uh, campus the, mm -hmm. that the Leakeys had built. It is very close to the site where we were working. But when I transported it to the Grenoble in France uh, on a plane, I sat with that thing literally every You probably second. bought a ticket on the plane for uh, it. it. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. I don't play. What's it, the significance? What have we learned from the skull? It's 13 million years old. My right. goodness. Right. So when, when we look at the fossil record, we have a, a fairly good fossil record of human evolution up to 7 million years ago. Mm -hmm. And we start pushing back. There is very, very little, especially in Africa. So uh, if you come to 13 million years, between, actually between uh, 7 and, and 14, there's just almost nothing. So this is the first thing that we have found that tells us at about 13 million years, what do our ancestors look like and where did they live? And so we know they look like this, uh, they look like gibbons, uh -huh. and they lived in Africa. And where is the skull now? The skull is at the National Museums of Kenya in Nairobi. Uh -huh. And it will stay there? And it will stay there forever. It's part of our human heritage, you know, but no single individual can own it. And what is next for you? Uh, we have put together a team uh, of uh, 16 specialists on all manners of the skull that are going to come, come together and do a thorough analysis of the skull. And I'm also going back to excavate um, in January the site where the skull, skull came from. All right, Isaiah, what a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you for uh, having I me. I can still feel the excitement, what, uh, three years later? Yes, I do. Now that you can tell the world.